to have a successful dog breeding program there are three things you must avoid i just want to explain what i mean by being successful now i'm going to be straight with you success can definitely be measured by the money you make from the efforts you put into something now making money from dogs is not a problem what i see is when you're owning dogs just to make money put it like this if you're putting quality time money and effort into developing a product or a service and people see true value in it they will support it with their pockets money is just one representation of how to be successful from your breeding program. other success indicators may not put cash in your pocket but it can certainly be more satisfying by the end of this video i will talk about the three main things you need to avoid if you want to be successful as a dog so if my content is bringing any value to you please comment like and share now one of the indicators that will tell you if you are successful or not is when you started your breeding program you had a list of goals and objectives and then over time you look back to see how close you came to achieving those goals and objectives which will then show you how successful you you have been in your program the impact of your breeding program has had on the dog community your breed of choice and the lives of the people they've come in contact with will determine whether or not you've been successful i'm now going to tell you the three things you must avoid if you want to have a successful dog breeding program number one starting your breeding program with a male dog first which is a popular route to take but it is schoolboy error yes of course people have built up solid programs and kennels on male dogs first and the male pup that you raised could end up becoming a fine specimen yet you may find that the females that you have available just may have the same flaws and weaknesses as your male or he just may not be compatible to your females there are many reasons why breedings and programs fail which i will go into much deeper in another video failure happening because people are choosing to use their male dogs instead of suitable stud dogs there is always a greater satisfaction when you use your own dogs for your breeding program but it doesn't always mean that you're going to get the right results and in fact it might even cause your kennel to go backwards it is therefore more efficient to start your breeding program with females first and find the suitable males which will complement those bitches the second thing you should avoid when starting your breeding program is using unproven stock dogs that have not been health screened stock that has not been temperament tested or evaluated and dogs which cannot show evidence of things they claim to do for example if a breeder claims that their dogs make good pets yet all their dogs live in kennels where's the evidence to back up the claim if these breeders claim that their dogs make great guard dogs but the only thing you see is a dog barking when the door knocks you've got to be a little bit skeptical when it comes to health screening whether you're looking for a stud or a new pup it would make sense to be clear of the health issues affecting your breed you can ask about hip results or if necessary you can ask about any other health tests that's been carried out on their stock modern technology has made it a lot quicker and easier to test and identify health issues affecting dogs there are a number of canine dna testing clinics such as wisdom panel and embark where you can use to test your dogs for over 150 different health issues and they'll provide you with an array of additional information to help you with your breeding now temperament testing and evaluation should be essential in all aspects of stock selection whether you or a breeder carry out suitable puppy tests or an adult dog is evaluated by a credible trainer these will benefit you when selecting your breedings and making decisions the third thing you should avoid when starting your breeding program is choosing the wrong stud dog many people go wrong choosing well-known or popular stud dogs some choose them because of the pedigree or the titles that dogs have earned yet only to find out that they have produced inferior puppies however breeding to the nearest dog or most convenient dog doesn't always get it right either if you follow the first two steps i told you to avoid you'll have a good indication about your own stock which will give you a good picture of the type of stud dog which would complement your females if you had any views or opinions on today's topic leave a comment so we can hear your thoughts and I can get back to you.